Hello everyone, it is Christine here and I am back for my daily videos that I'm sharing in the lead up to Christmas with Christmas crafts, Christmas rippies and Christmas stitching inspiration. And I'll shortly be sharing a stitchery that I did last year um, of a little Christmassy scene with a fireside and Christmas tree and I'll talk you through the elements in that. But first of all, let's take a look at the advent calendar with my Nana's vintage buttons. And so we've got number 18 and we have a beautiful, it's plastic, not, not glass, um, but it's a stripey. And I like how the stripes are running this way on the front and that way on the back. And you can actually um, see, see through it. Let me bring it up a little bit closer so you can have a better, better look at the button. So 18, can you believe it? We are so close to Christmas. So I'll put this to the side and we'll come back tomorrow and have a look at that. I've got some other stick trees that I'll be showing you in the lead up to Christmas. I need to get, get going and finish off um, the crafts that I've already started, particularly my Christmas bonbon um, hats with the ribbon and the fabric. So this was um, a stitchery. I created and I think the prompt um, at the time was Christmas tree so the Christmas tree I created from lots of vintage fabrics I had quite a few of them were Nana's um, fabrics so it was really nice to be able to use um, some of those um, and have sort of Nana incorporated in the tree um, but I just did pleated bits of fabric to create um, the I guess the layers of the Christmas tree and just yeah different different color tones um, down it so it's really beautiful and and textural this bottom one is a beautiful um, velour so it feels feels really lovely and I used a vintage um, table mat or little tray cloth I guess um, for the base and then I added um, quite a bit of additional lace all around let me just bring it up to the camera so you can see and the placemat was really lovely because it already had um, yeah, nice little flowers here um, and then I had a fun element because the placemat had these little cutwork sections and it's interesting this year I've learned how to do cutwork as part of our, our dictionary of stitches I used those to create uh, little windows and a little spotty fabric to create the sense of snow falling outside the, the window so I thought that was a fun little fun little element and then I used um, the same lace again to create the fireplace. So this lace was actually off a little jacket um, that I'd got, but it eventually over time and over wear, it had sort of yeah, worn some, some holes into the, the crochet lace work. Um, and so it was good to be able to incorporate it into this piece. These bits were um, along the, the little sort of wrist wristbands, and I think they were also down the, down the front of it. Um, this one might have, no, I think this one came off the same jacket as well. I was just thinking, yeah, no, I think it was off the, off the same jacket. So good to use that. Um, and so, yeah, just layering it, layering up to really sort of frame the scene. And I wanted it to kind of look like, um, icicles sort of growing around the, the outside of the, the room as so though you might have windows or something else where you're seeing, seeing the icicles, but then creating a really, um, textural, um, fire. I had this amazing, it was sort of halfway between a paper and a, a fabric um, that I used for the um, the wood in the fire and it almost looks like the sort of um, the wood is a light. It's got that sort of reflection happening when um, yeah sort of wood is um, starting to burn and then I used a variety of felt and some more meshy fabrics, some yellow and red fabrics and then um, I think I used the Wonderfill um, Perle variegated cotton from one of the cotton sets for this which had yellows and oranges and reds in it. So that's how I created my, my fireplace and I just used a black um, felt for the back of the, the fireplace. Um, I stitched it I think before I, yeah, I stitched it onto the, the felt first and then stitched it down afterwards onto the piece and then added the embellishments and then um, made a cute little um, hanging wire along which I just stitched um, some rustic some rustic holly that you can see there and created three little um, felt stockings and micro embroidered those with our 
with our initials and with little star decorations. So mine, Christine, T for Travis and A for, for Alex. Um, so they were lots of fun to create and they've got tiny little seed stitches then decorating, decorating them. Um, and I think that's the lovely thing about the creating these pieces is just putting those tiny, tiny little special details in. And then I had a beautiful um, Kathy Holden fabric um, and it had this little um, snowy, snowy scene on it of a little village and um, yeah, trees and a fir tree. Um, and I thought that would be great to put as a little, either as a picture window, but I, I was thinking more as a little Christmassy picture above, above the fireplace um, of a little scene outside perhaps. Um, so yeah, really pleased with how that one turned out. And all of these um, get pinned up in our um, dining room um, for Christmas so everyone can enjoy looking at them. I know last year yeah, everyone was very intrigued to see what I had been up to and what I'd been creating and it's lovely to yeah get my little folio of these these out and look at them again um, when you've sort of put them away for a year you, you forget what you've actually created so it's interesting and just to look at the style and the stitches uh, that I did at the time um, it's a bit of a bit of fun um, so at the end of this video in fact, in fact probably, probably now while I'm speaking I will cut in a video of the chocolate plum puddings that I have made this weekend. So it's a mixture inside of dried fruits, so sultanas, dried apricots, dried glacé ginger, um, lots of brandy which soaks the fruit, um, ginger nut biscuits, some sweetened condensed milk and some coconut and lots of um, rich cocoa. And so that makes a wonderful truffly mixture in the middle and then that's dipped in a dark chocolate and then decorated with white chocolate and then decorated with little um, red berries made out of, I think I, yeah, no, I used um, jelly snakes this year. <laughs> um, so red berries and little green leaves to make um, the shape of a Christmas chocolate pudding. So that's, I don't actually make that to a recipe. I just um, follow approximate quantities and get the mixture to the right consistency to be able to roll into little, little truffle balls, but they are absolutely, absolutely delicious. So I'll have that um, footage showing now. I didn't take a lot of footage of the making of them because um, you get quite messy rolling the, rolling the balls, but I'm very happy to have those made and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye everyone.